Hi there. Well, today we're going to look at the brand new leak detection from Sonoff. And there was a real surprise in the package for me in this one. So this new sensor is called the SNZB05P. Quite a mouthful. But as you can see, it's following the trend of the new leak detection sensors where they have this little cup which allows drips to form and early detection to be possible. Having a look at this device, it's completely waterproof, so IP67 rating means it can operate underneath complete water coverage. It's got a five-year battery life, which is pretty exciting, and it's also got this extended detection support, which I'm going to show you. So this device comes in a nice, smooth plastic case with the two sensors over here. Now this can be used either vertically, like this, with the sensors collecting drips, or you can turn it over and have it on the ground, and it can either be measuring, even be measuring on a metal surface, because the two pins will not be in contact with the metal, only the water when it starts to rise up. So yeah. this piece of braided cable came along with the sensor, and I was totally unsure of what this was designed for until I actually watched someone else's video. Now, what this is designed for is an extension device. So effectively, this clips on here with a magnetic force, and this long piece of cable can then be wound out around an appliance like a washing machine or something, and wherever the moisture actually touches this cable, it wets the cable and then sets the sensor off. You can even buy additional ones and they would then plug into each other like this using this extension and you could have it running along a whole selection or a whole length of a cupboard or something like that. So in order to start this device up, we need to actually screw the back piece off so it comes off quite easily and then we need to remove this small piece of paper which is keeping the battery from operating. There we go, we can see it started flashing and I'm assuming it is now in pairing mode. So I will go along to my Sonoff device and see if we can pair this. So I've opened up the eWeLink app and this is connected to my NS Panel Pro. You do need to have one of the Sonoff bridges or NS Panel Pro connected to use this device. I then go plus and I go to the scan mode and on then this device. There we go, it seems to be pairing up. So let's go add. Remove the bottom cover. Yes, we've done that. Next, long press for five seconds. We'll do that again. There we go, now we're gonna go next. And LED is flashing. We'll yes. select the NS panel as what we wanna to connect to and we'll keep it close to the hub. Let's see what's gonna happen. And there we go. Our leak detector is now all hooked up to our NS Panel Pro. So I've poured some water onto the device and as you can see, it's immediately popped up that leaking status. So now I'm gonna go over to my Home Assistant and I'm gonna see if I can link this in via the Sonoff LAN connection. So let's have a look here. Sonoff, there we go. Now it's asking for my details here, so we'll put those in. And country, let's just leave it blank and see if it'll auto-select. So it's re-authenticated. Let's have a look now and see if it has brought that device in. No, it's not sitting there at the moment. No, is our iwi link is up and running, so that's all good. And so let's try and see if we can connect this device directly to our Zigbee on our Home Assistant. So let's go add integration and add Zigbee device. We'll put this into a peering mode and we will see what happens. There we go, immediate. Oh, that's awesome news. Seems like it's quite happy to tee up and connect. We'll put that in the kitchen. Seems like it connects perfectly up to Home Assistant using the Zigbee. I have a Zigbee. Um, a Sonoff Zigbee dongle. Let's go back here now and if we go to our Zigbee devices we can see down here that we have our Sonoff and there we go it's dry. Let's add some water. So there we go I've added some water to the top of that device and it is showing up 
perfectly in Home Assistant. So in summary, I'm super impressed with this as a really affordable option for presence, sensing, and connecting directly into your Home Assistant. Anyway, that's all for this episode. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now. 